My name is Chris Young. I'm the co-founder of Chef Steps and also the co-author of Modernist Cuisine. And today I'm going to show you how to make your very own soft serve ice cream using dry ice in a stand mixer at home. The first thing you need to do is get dry ice. You can usually get this at most supermarkets if, uh, if there isn't an obvious cooler where they're selling it. Uh, if you go back to the fishmonger section and ask, they often have dry ice. It usually comes as chunks, but sometimes pellets. What we're going to need to do is smash it into a finer powder so that it's going to be easier to use in our recipe. Easiest way to do that is take a couple chunks, fold them up in a tea towel, and you're going to smash it. Be careful of your thumb here. Put that into a bowl. So we have mostly a fine powder with some larger chunks. We really try to uh, want to try to have no chunks much bigger than a, a large pea. So for these larger ones, I'll just uh, sort of smash them up or avoid adding them. I'm going to uh, make just a bit more than that. You'll need about uh, the same volume of dry ice of ice cream that you're going to try to freeze. That's our dry ice powder that we're going to use for the ice cream. We got loads. So you're probably wondering why you even need dry ice to make soft serve ice cream. Why can't you just use a simple domestic ice cream maker? The trick with soft serve ice cream is it's incredibly low fat and if you want that smooth stiff texture that you can pipe and stand up and, and lick on a hot summer day without it melting, you really need to freeze it very quickly. Um, without the fat the ice cream has very little uh, stability and a very loose structure. So. The problem with most domestic ice cream machines is they freeze really slowly and that gives more time for the ice crystals to grow large and you get a very soft, almost soupy ice cream. Dry ice is so cold it's able to pull the heat out very quickly and taking minutes to freeze an ice cream versus half an hour or more with most domestic machines. So we've prepped our dry ice, now we need to prep our soft serve ice cream base. Soft serve ice cream has a very different recipe than almost any other recipe. It's very low in fat, mostly based on milk with a small amount of cream, uh, plenty of sugar for solids that are gonna help give the ice cream structure. And the other critical ingredient is we need some skim milk powder. On its own, without the fat, soft serve ice cream isn't gonna have enough uh, dissolved solids in it to give it structure. So we use skim milk powder to bulk up the solids, which is gonna give soft serve ice cream that pipeable, stiff, dry texture that you want. With ice cream recipes, the exact quantities are pretty important. So really the only way to get a reliable recipe that's going to work time and time again is to weigh your ingredients, particularly uh, the sugars and, uh, and the skim milk powder. It's just not going to work to try to do this by teaspoons and cups, uh, or at least not consistently. So what we need for the recipe is a thousand grams of whole milk. hundred grams of cream, I should say hundred grams of heavy cream. We're going to need 225 grams of sugar. Now this would be a little bit surprising but a small amount of salt, three and a half grams or if your scale isn't that accurate, just about a pinch or two. It's really going to help bring out the, the flavor of the ice cream, particularly flavors like vanilla or if you do a chocolate version, that salt's really going to help elevate the uh, flavors. Finally, we need 95 grams of our dry skim milk powder. happens to be about one packet. And then we're going to do a vanilla version today, so about 10 grams of vanilla uh, paste is what we're using. Uh, if you're using vanilla extract, I use about half that quantity. So I put this all in the base of a stand mixer. I'm going to stir it together to make sure the sugar and the milk powders are fully dissolved before I start adding the dry ice to freeze it while churning. So once I have all the ingredients really well mixed together, everything dissolved, I need to freeze it while churning. That's what makes the ice cream ice cream. So the way to do that is add dry ice a little bit as you go. It's going to take about five minutes of adding this every, uh, every 30 seconds or so before you've frozen it all the way down to that soft serve texture. At 
at this point, the texture is actually quite nice and pipeable. Um, I don't really see any dry ice left, but just to be sure, I'm gonna put this in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes to temper and harden a bit. That gives time for any tiny pieces of dry ice that might be left to sublimate. Before you pipe it onto a cone, you really wanna make sure there's no chunks of dry ice, and that's one reason we smash it to begin with. So, uh, the easiest thing to do is just eat the soft serve ice cream out of a bowl, but that's not really summertime, so we're gonna use some cones, and the way to, to uh, get a soft serve ice cream looking like a soft serve ice cream cone is to pipe it. It's a little bit of extra effort, but you know, it's pretty fun. So you should definitely make more than you think you're gonna need. It goes quick. Uh, I'm Chris Young from Chef Steps. Thanks for watching.